In this video, I'm going to give you the first of the uh, engineer battle drills. And that will be breaching an enemy wire obstacle. In this particular example, there will not be any mines there creating a complex obstacle. It will just be a wire obstacle like you would find out in the field or more than likely we would encounter it as the perimeter fence of a forward operating base or a fire base or a combat outpost. Now before operate, breaching operations can begin, there is a term that must be established. SOSER. S-O-S-R. Suppress, obscure, secure, reduce. These first three are done by the supported element by the infantry, by the tanks, by the cavalry, whoever. Suppress enemy fire with direct and indirect fires. Obscure the area with smoke or some other type of obscuration. Secure the immediate area in front of the obstacle and behind it. So you want to knock out any positions overlooking the breach site. Once those three conditions are in place, that is when the engineers are called up to do the reduce, the breach of the obstacle. If all three conditions have not been met, the engineers should not be called up because they will be wiped out. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's what will happen. I have been in exercises where we had officers in infantry and tanks that wanted their gunners to have better shots at the enemy so they would call in the engineers because the enemy would concentrate on us and expose themselves so that their tankers or their Bradleys could get in better shots. Now you're going to want the minimum number of people required for the mission to move up. You will stop at the minimum safe distance for what you're going to be using. In this case, we have wire obstacle. It is going to be hand in place explosives breach. So that means Bangalore torpedoes. All we will need for this is the Alpha team, our primary breach team. So we will have our squad leader, the assistant team leader. The automatic rifleman, squad designated marksman, and the rifleman. The automatic rifleman and squad designated marksman will contribute with putting fire out on enemy positions as needed. The squad leader tells the team leader, or the assistant team leader in this case, Where's the breach point going to be at? The exact spot on that obstacle he wants to go. The assistant team leader passes that information, or the squad leader also passes the information on to the rifleman, who is your grappler. Now in this situation, we're going to want to be at least 25 or 50 meters back from the fence. Now, the reason for that is the grappler is going to move up to right between the assistant team leader and the automatic rifleman, and he's going to start grappling. First, he's going to throw out what's called a crow's foot. He's going to go left. He's going to go right. Then he's going to go up the middle, and he's going to keep going up the middle till he tosses the grapnel hook into the wire. When he gets it in the wire, he tugs on it as hard as he can. The reason he's doing that is he's trying to set off any trip flares or bounding fragmentation mines or other booby traps that are tied into the wire. Once he's done that, 
That rifleman moves up to defense, gets in the prone, tries pulling that grapnel hook out. While he's doing that, the demo team goes up. Now it could be one person, it can be two people. If you're trying to breach four vehicles, it should be two people. If you're just trying to create a footpath, just do one. So then your breacher goes up, tags your grappler. He runs back with the grapnel hook with the rope trailing behind him. And when he gets back here to the position, he starts pulling in that rope. While that's going on, your demo man up here will put in his Bangalore torpedo. Now if you're just putting in one, you can get away with putting it straight up and through. If you're doing it for two, you're putting two in there because you're trying to make a path for vehicles. You will put them in at a, U, at a V shape. You will have one going like this and one going like this. Put them next to the pickets either way. Even if it's going straight up the middle, you want it right next to the picket because you want to shear it off. If you're trying to create a wide enough path for vehicles, you want it V-shaped, you want to go picket the picket, so that you shear those pickets off the ground and you blow that wire off to the side in either direction. The demo man attaches the initiation system. He signals back that he's ready to pop the fuse igniter. The squad leader does what he needs to do. If he needs called up on by radio to get permission, he does it. As soon as he gets the okay, he signals the demo man up there. He pops that fuse igniter and he hauls ass back here. Now, as soon as he gets back here, everybody then falls back a little bit farther so that you're out of the fallout zone from any shrapnel that will be coming down when those Bangalores go off. Now when those Bangalores go off, the, that breach team moves back up into position. That squad leader then moves up. That squad leader then moves up and he checks that area. He makes sure it's clear. Because who knows, he may get to the other side up here and he'll see some mines that were exposed up here. If there were, then you then have to breach that minefield. If it's wide open, there's no mines, then you do your quick marking and you start sending people through. Now, if this is done at nighttime, when that squad leader goes up to proof that area, he should trail some type of white tape behind him, creating a path. And it should be on the left hand side. So then as those riflemen come in, they come in here and they know to stay right on the immediate right side of that, that engineer tape, that textile tape all the way through till they're past that wire. And then they start getting in the enemy trenches. That squad leader, he will stand fast up here while those riflemen start coming through. And after he gets like one squad through there, his breachers are going to come up there too, and they're going to come off to the side, either over here or over here, and they're all going to link up. They're going to do a quick uh, go through, make sure everyone's okay, and then they're going to do their part of the mission. And while they're talking that through, they're getting ready. You have more riflemen pouring through that breach, getting into those trenches, getting into that... Uh, those fortifications getting into those bunkers. Now, for all my engineer brothers in the Patriot and Militia movements, always remember, Essayons.